Cicadas have one of the craziest life cycles of any creature on the planet. They will soon be all around and above us, but they spend most of their lives, 17 years, buried underground, quietly surviving on plant sap, until one evening when they emerge as nymphs by the billions, even trillions. They're going to make a jailbreak. They're going to come up out of the ground. They're going to climb to vertical structures. It could be a tree. It could be a house. If you stand still, it could be you. The cicada's appearance begins to change as the insect begins its brief adult life. They're going to shed their skins. Within an hour, they're going to then begin to harden up. And by morning, they're going to assume that wonderful color, jet black body, bright red eyes, orange wings, and head up to the relative safety of the treetop. Once on the treetop, male cicadas try to woo the females to mate by performing a courtship song. This is kind of my impression of what that call sounds like. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. If she likes his performance, if he's cool, she's gonna flick her wings, make a little clicking noise, they're gonna hook up. She's then gonna move out to the tips of small branches, make slits in those branches, deposit 20 to 30 eggs. She can lay up to four to 600 eggs during the span of her life. In a matter of weeks, the cicadas die and their bodies rain down onto the ground. But the good news is they're gonna return and fertilize bring back nutrients to the very plants from which they were spawned, basically completing the cycle of life and giving back to the very trees from which they took for 17 years. Six weeks later, the eggs left behind hatch into tiny nymphs and fall to the ground. They start to burrow in the ground. They find roots to feed on for another 17 years until it's time to come up again. 